Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Oh, it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Baltimore Orioles and the Expos. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Blake Snell, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Man, he pitched really well in his last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. Stepping into the box, Andrew Velasquez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball here, 0-1. First pitch, 7 11. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And it takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Stepping up now, Hanser Alberto, arguably one of the hotter hitters in the league right now. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. Fellas, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. Come and try to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, 5-2 and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. So they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. One out, nobody on. Just a touch outside, one and two. Temperature at first pitch, there it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Got him. And the main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So here's Trey Mancini. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two out, nobody on. strike 0 oh and 2. I get it he wants to see this guy's repertoire but now he's behind in the count puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Shooting for that low inside corner but he missed with it 1 and 2. Hey the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Back up the middle. Margo is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. Half inning complete. We've got no score.
Mr. Wojciechowski is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Now at the plate, Manuel Margot. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For Montreal, the better field. Here's the pitch. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, coming off a 500 homestand, you would have liked to have played better in front of your home crowd. I get that. But they have a chance to right the ship right here, get on the winning side, push forward, game one on this road trip. It's not going to be easy. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Three and two, full count. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Therefore, it is Mancini, and that's the first out of the inning. For the moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, what's the key to them starting out 1-0 here at home? Well, Matty, the one thing that jumps off the page at me is the fact that this team leads the league in doubles, putting themselves in scoring position time and time again. Instead of having to get a few knocks, one base hit gets you right back in the ballgame. This offense creates a lot of opportunities. Strike one to start the at-bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. I know he's down in the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging the bat so well lately, I don't think he minds this one bit. The wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Hey, Dero, one of the things you have to be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes, because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon's punching your tip. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. At the plate, Stefan Segui. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. as he's able to lay off the slider. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The one-two. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. And here's Renato Nunez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The designated hitter, Renato Nunez.
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Second That's inning begins with a slider that misses here. It's 1 and 0. That's by him for strike one. Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Hit in the air to left field. And Lau is there for the catch. There's one gone. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And let's take a look at Yasiel Puig, a lightning rod in our sport. But he can play some D. Covers a lot of territory out there. And do not come around third base and send this guy home. He has one of the best arms in the game. Anthony Santander the next to bat as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one the numbers coming in 278 the average six home runs and 16 RBIs the 1-0 oh now here's a drive out to the alley He's around first, heading for two. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll reach second now with one away. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Austin Hayes, the next to bat. Line towards center field. Margo is there, two gone. That accepts the second baseman, Ramon Urias. At the plate, Ramon Urias, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch coming, here it is. Ready with the 1 0. -oh. Bouncer to the left side. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Orioles lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. That'll bring in the veteran Ben Zobrist. He went deep in the contest last night. First pitch of the at bat. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santander waits on it. One away. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And this team right here is known for kicking the ball around. They have the lowest fielding percentage in the entire league, and it could come back to haunt them in this one. Russell Martin now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. The average coming in, 257. Nine homers and 22 RBIs. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Count remains at 
Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at-bat going. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Up with it, Severino. And he makes the throw to first. Martin is retired. Two down now. At the plate, Willie Adamas. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Low for ball one. Count even now at one and one. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the two one pitch. Two out, nobody on. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another 2 2 offering. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in, Pedro Severino. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Chris Davis at the plate now, and as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one and he 
takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Finally, now up to this point, the entire lineup have been swinging at anything close, and this guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with a base on balls. That was a good at bat. Digging in for his second at bat, Andrew Velasquez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. Now the one and one pitch. Swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go then at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. One ball, no strikes to count. Here's the 1-0. And he falls behind now, 2-0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Now the 2-0. Finds the zone, strike one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. now two and two third inning no score to this point swing and a miss at a big breaking ball and that's how the inning comes to an end one left for the Orioles home half of the third coming up no score Edwin Encarnacion now, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here's the first pitch to him. On the ground is second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is I'm going for a bad streak like this guy. Any way he could get a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. Oh, and won the count. the stretch and he won't offer it that too high one and two and he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught out of their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. We got three and two. Yandy Diaz is on deck.
The 3-2 pitch. Big swing by Puig and a ball sent to deep left. Santander on the run. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Into the box now, Yandi Diaz. His career numbers in this matchup, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. First delivery to him on the way. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. Behind 0-2 now. the slider here and it's a towering drive out to deep left field this ball is gone a home run it's a two run shot to straight away left home run number five on the year as it's now a two nothing ball game Wasn't a particularly good pitch right here. This guy doesn't get away with very many mistakes. He's going to have to do a better job pitching out of the middle part of the plate. And that'll bring up Manuel Margo. Better fielder. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for one here in the early going. The 1-0 home is a fastball down below the knees. Saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Ready now, Brendan Lau. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming, here it is. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We've played three full. It's now a 2-0 ball game. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini, as we begin the top of the fourth. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. In there, strike one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. behind 0-2 now. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through 4, 5, and 6 right here. And another foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside now a baseball back. and drive Never it the other way. Good night. Into the box, Renato Nunez. And he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. And try 
to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The one-two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Digging in to try it again, Anthony Santander. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Oh one, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Mancini on at first with one gun in the inning. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Working for the punch out and the offering. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. The relay throw won't get him. Well, that's his second double of the game, and I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Banged it off the wall, and he's looking really good in this one. At the plate now, Austin Hayes. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also push across a score to make it a one-run game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Stepping in now, Ramon Urias. One ball, no strikes to count. One run, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. There's one at 97, and all he can do is foul that one away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Now, look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Ready with two balls and a strike. To two and two now. Hey, there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career. But I think this is the biggest one. His ability to work out of nasty jams. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. You know, D-Roll, as a pitcher, that can be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches. And that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter's smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Pedro Severino will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. Get it down now. 
Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. First and second now, one man out. Three and oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Here it comes, the 3-0. He's taken strike one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Big strikeout for the second out there. He's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that game, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. Here's Chris Davis now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Margo's under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied 2-2. So striding forward now, Stefan Segui. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Santander is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now that Ben Zobrist, he flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty, almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And no chance on the throw, so a great effort, but that'll be scored a base hit. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the shortstop right there to leave his feet and try and make that throw to first base. Got to be frustrated a little bit as a pitcher. You executed your spot. Well, I tell you what, you know, I, well, as soon as you throw one like that, Dero, you see your shortstop get a glove on it, and you're thinking, okay, maybe he has a shot to get him. But that's a long throw after that jump throw, and it's solid infield base hit, but very frustrating as a pitcher. The 1-0. -oh. Line drive snagged on a short hop. On to Davis for a side-retiring double play. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four full, and we are tied 2-2. Digging in once again, Andrew Velasquez. The matchup with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. Number 88. First pitch on its way. All ones we count. The wind up and the 0 1. on 
the ground is short, taken in by Zobrist. And the fifth He's inning up. will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, the third baseman, Hunter Alberto. Standing in, Hanser Alberto, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The throw into second, and he is in there. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the now stick bad. again, d -Roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Man. Yeah, he's leaking into three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate. Out in front of it, strike one. He's one for two in this one. one on its way nope. oh. one. if you're gonna have success against one some one. of the better hitters in the game you got to get that pitch right there oh two he's almost certainly out one one he's got a chance to really do some damage one out and a runner on second base one ball and two strikes to count on the changeup and there are two gone boy there's the perfect pitch right there the straight changeup he hadn't used it yet in this at bat and what does he do he uses it pulls the string and gets the big strikeout into the box now Renato Nunez snap throw from the catcher The set and the 1-0 fouled off. One and one. Here it is. Grounded down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. The left field, number 25. Anthony Santana. To the plate now, Anthony Santander, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. that time as it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Ball and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Here's the 1-2. This is on the ground over to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on two base hits, one error, and two left. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Willie Adamas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. A ball and no strikes. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. 
Stepping in, Edwin Encarnacion. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. One out, nobody on. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. The relay. And he will get in there at second base as he's got himself a wall ball double. He obviously didn't let last night's hit us out and get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one, a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. And now is Yasiel Puig as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0-1. He's 0-1 for 1 thus far. and one delivery hit on the ground is short he's got it on to Davis at first and there are two away stepping up now Yandy Diaz a couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Here's a drive out toward left center field. And that is off the wall. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. That base hit right there, D-Roll. That's his third RBI of the game. More importantly, his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly, almost given his team a chance to win this one. So now to the plate, Manuel Margot. And that's down into left center for a base hit. And they'll add another run to their lead as the run scores from second to make it 4-2 to two now. now hey, d -Roy, I think we've got a case right now of this team. They're just feasting on a pitcher that he's given up some runs. It looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired, leaving some of these pitches up in the zone. Yeah, and I think there's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are licking their chops, knowing he's a little bit tired. Going to leave stuff over the middle of the plate. Won't be surprised to see the bullpen get going. Pitch out. Well, nothing doing. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Davis, oh. takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. Montreal is on top here, four to two. So coming to the plate, Austin Haynes. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Now the pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now.
swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Again, a one-two. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Now back. So digging in now, Ramon Urias, a hit in two tries for him so far. First offering on its way. Off the plate, ball one. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. That's inside. Two and zero. Oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Grounded to third. And that's the second out. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Pedro Severino digs in at the plate. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. In there, one and one. The pitch. This is line to left. Lau's got it, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. The Expos are out in front, four to two. Miguel Castro enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the six. Number 50, Miguel Castro. So striding in, Stefan Segui. Here's the first pitch to him. Castro is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to throw it. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. and If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now back. Will be the cleanup hitter, Ben Zobrist. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! So a solo home run off the bat of Ben Zobrist. Number 13 for him on the year. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. I know hindsight's 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. And now, Russell.
Russell Martin, the designated hitter. And she'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 1 0 home. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And this pitch is taken by Martin as it misses for ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next will be Willie Adamas. As a look, now the pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He swings and grounds it to short. Step on the back for one. On to Davis for a side retiring double play. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. Montreal leads it five to two. Darren O'Day is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll. Now batting, Chris Davis. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Pitch on the way. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees. It's strike one. And it's fouled away. on the slider and that's out number one really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that now late that. action that just no, darts at the it. last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch at the plate Andrew Velasquez batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one he could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Strike 2, O'Day, a 6 foot 4 inch right hander. He's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments, and you don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. So it was a strikeout swinging. Andrew Velasquez takes his third strikeout of the day. Into the box, Hanser Alberto. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Next to bat will be Yasiel Puig. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. First delivery to him on the way.
into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Davis has it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. So a good job to get the out there, but with five runs already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And as you see, they're two away from the bottom spot in that category. 13th best, if you will, in the AL. Yandy Diaz will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Now here it comes. Slow little roller to third. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. The center fielder, number 13, Blackwell. Coming to the plate now, Manuel Margot, singled home a run in his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. Even 1-1 one one count to Margot. 5-2 our score as we play inning number 7. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ready for another shot now. Trey Mancini has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Hardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. The 1-1. One, one. Bounce to first. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now that. 5-2 our score as we get a look inside the numbers. It's our starter comparison for the two gentlemen that took the hill to start the ball game. the designated hitter for the Orioles, Renato Nunez. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing, line, drive, that's gonna be trouble. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. At the plate now, Anthony Santander. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But this is taken in on the warning track as the runner will tag from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now that the center fielder, Austin Stepping into the box, Austin Haynes. He got called out on strikes his last time through. 
Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Jose Alvarado enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. He's set, here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. This is line to left. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Tanner Scott is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Betting number eight set to go. Stepping up to the plate, Brandon Lau. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at bat. In there, and it's 0 1. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Scott stands 6 2 and throws from the left side. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Hit down the third baseline, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball, and this will find the wall deep in the corner, and he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing at a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right, but he managed to catch all of that baseball, placing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. To the plate now, Stefan Segui. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the 0-1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Here's Ben Zobris now. As he lines it hard to the right side but out of play. So far, two for three in this one. pitch and now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field Mancini is over to his right as he puts this one away two down the relay throw back to second and that's a double play one hits all they get we've played eight full the Expos lead this one five to two In now for the O's, Ramon Urias. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ramon Urias.
from the stretch. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Two balls and a strike. Ball. And he lays off again, ball three. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull the trigger. A walk is as good as a knock. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. Soft liner towards short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The captain, number 28, Pedro Severino. Striding into the box, Pedro Severino. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Oh, one pitch on its way. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Stepping in now, Chris Davis. As he'll take a breaking ball in off the plate for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1-0. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle-of-the-order power guy. Now the 2-0. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Well, he knows it. But this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Digging in the switch hitter, Andrew Velasquez. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. First pitch coming, here it is. A runner on first with two away. It's taken for ball two. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. High in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. Taking called 
strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Baltimore down to their final strike. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Hit well on the ground to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. That fires me up right there. What a clutch A-B, a, a two-out single to get the tying run to the plate. That's all you can ask for. Now with the plate, Hanser Alberto. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take the deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Nick Anderson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. First pitch coming, here it is. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch to end it as the Expos have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Man, that's what you would call an efficient outing. One pitch, and he gets the save. He doesn't get paid by the pitch, so he just figured he'd end it quickly and get the showers. Good call. 5-2 the final score tonight. The Expos used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Blake Snell earns win number seven on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.